video in that so you want a little more of that <laughs> So Christopher is going to a little birthday party after school, which it's just a get together, you know, for one of his friends. But I was clearly having to say like, you know, don't be smoking weed, okay? Don't be doing like meth or dropping acid, okay? Don't be having sex. And don't be watching porn, son, okay? This ain't really what women are gonna let you do, okay? So it's gonna be a big letdown for you. You know what I mean? <laughs> Also, so, anyway, and I was posting a funny comment um, over on Instagram where I screenshotted our text because he'll be like, okay, mom, yes, ma'am, you know, <laughs> but we really do talk about these things and somebody was like, um, I agree with everything you're saying except for the drop in acid, maybe when he's older. Here's the thing, though, this is funny, you know, when, you, when you've experienced, um, a little bit in life that went like this like you knew somebody that did that and then like for the rest of their life they were sort of brain dead like it was laced with something or you know they smoked weed but really they were smoking rat poisoning and um you know do whatever you want to but i just like to enlighten him of these things too like okay look baby boy when you smoke dope and something happens to you and then you can't function the rest of your life. Listen, it's not that I don't love you, but I, I don't want to change your diapers all your life when it's something you chose. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, if there was a wreck or something happened or there was, of course I would be your caregiver, but you know, when you just chose that, you're choosing my life too. So, so can you choose careful? Because listen, I'm not dead yet. I got a lot of living to do. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> or I'll be like, you know, I know girls' boobs are enticing, son, you know. I know they are. But the thing is, and you want to like, it's the draw, you know. It's what they're for. They're there to make you say, oh, you know. And, and it makes you want to grab them, right? But just remember this, like, <sighs> boobs are like crack, you know what I mean? Like like you get a little bit and you just want some more. And then before you know it, you're, you're sidetracked. That's what I'm saying. Stay on track, right? So anyway, I thought that was funny. <laughs> you know, I think the bottom line to parenting is loving your kids and listening to them and talking about things that are relevant in their world, you know. Um, caring about them and their ideas and so then they care about yours. And also not sweating every little bitty small stuff, you know. Like, um, like when my daughter, uh, before she was grown and moved out and has her own family, when she lived at home, I used to sweat the small stuff, like that she would do her makeup and hair in her room and then the aerosol would be like stuck to the blinds and, and like she would drop the mascara and I was at least like, well, can you, I even put like a pack of like baby wipes in there so she could get that up, but no, I would have to get that up. But here's the thing, once she moved out, and I cleaned that room once, guess what? All that was clean, and all I wanted was her to be back, you know? Like, Christopher's room is like a, I don't even know what, it's got like a screen, there's like 12 screens in there of different technology, and I, I think he's, He's planning on ruling the world, so just so you'll know, um, there's just too many screens and too much te technology. I mean, the dust in my house all all comes from his room. Like like in school when you went to the computer lab and it was always dusty because of little fans in the machine and stuff. <laughs> but anyway, the thing is, I know that when he's grown and he moves out, he'll take all that with him or not, but it's just a room, it's just a cube. That, that he can just do whatever with, you know. <clears throat> he has all this technology, most of it, on this one gigantic <clears throat> wall-sized bookshelf that I have over there. And so pretty much I can just pull the door, if it's bothering me, have to, and I can't see it. All I can see is his made-up bed and everything that's needed in the world. So I don't have to stress, I don't have to fuss, I don't have to gripe, chew him out about stuff that doesn't matter. So that when it's something that does matter and we talk about that, you know, um, 
then it's words that can be heard. It's not just more babbling. You know what I mean? Um, the other day we were talking about he wanted to order some some kind of technology. I don't know what it was. Some booster. Or, I have no clue really. A techno thingy. And I was like, you know, I, I really think that it would be beneficial for you to not order anything until you get your license because focusing on all these new things and technology and all this kind of keeps you sidetracked from wanting to practice and get your license and you know just like when you were not wanting to get a job yet because it was an unknown realm and you like to be in a known realm like everyone does but look how that's benefited you look how you like it and you feel confident <clears throat> and you are like on top of your game there they're like we've never had a better employee they gave him a raise who does that like it's really awesome. I'm like, see how good that feels? So what I would like you to do, and you know, of course, he had some some comeback on that because he wants to spend his money on whatever he wants to, and he can, but the thing is, when he starts driving that car all the time that is a 1988 Bronco, in case you don't watch me all the time, there may be other things that need to be fixed. You know, there's going to be more gas money and all this, and he already pays his insurance and taxes and all this, but I'm like, you're paying for that car and you're not even getting to drive it. Let's really focus on that. And you know, I said at the end of the day, really think about it. You know I have your best interest in mind. And you know, you and I, we have each other. You know, this is what I'm telling him. Like, because, for example, you may think you have all these people around you, but it's the core people that care about you. It may, it may be your unit of tight-knit friends or your family. People that stick around it, and they're not going to leave you because you didn't do just right or you're not serving them anymore. Do you know what I mean? So I'm like, at the end of the day, um, I mean, do you think if I quit doing YouTube that, you know, there's almost 20,000 subscribers and almost 2 million views? Well, guess what? If I was on YouTube for about two or three weeks, it would all vanish as if I never put out a video. Sure, they would be out there, but you know what I'm saying? Like, people are doing their own life and their own thing, and I'm like, at the end of the day, we got each other, baby. And it's a strong bond, you know? It's the same thing I tell my daughter while she's out there, you know, trying to live her life and all this. I'm like, you know, at the end of the day, I'm your trampoline. You jump as high as you want to, and I'll always be here for your bounce, you know? So anyway, talking to your, your teenagers, talking to your kids, starting when they're little so you can develop that relationship, you know, and they know you're there. And even if you're, you're a parent who maybe, maybe you're the daddy or you're divorced, I see this in, in the situation very close to me. All, all the person on the outside would have to do is show love. All they would have to do is listen and open up their hand and heart and they could have a working part of a young person's life again, you know, and it breaks my heart, but I'm always saying like forgiveness and loving and, you know, you don't want to hold that resentment in your heart, but um, anyway, I thought that was funny about the Instagram, and we're going to be making some koodles with a sweet and spicy sauce. Koodles are cucumber noodles, and they're very different than zucchini noodles. They, they almost remind me of Asian glass noodles. Very tasty and um, simple and delicious. And this time of the year around here, I got the cucumbers, mammoth cucumbers for 25 cents a piece. So I'll see y'all back in the kitchen of Love, love and Light. Exactly. You know, right now, there's any music? There's not. You just have to dance to the music in your head. <laughs> see you later.